So UFC and Dana White just did their massive announcement or their super special announcement on the YouTube, on the Twitch, on the Instagram. And the YouTube live stream, you know how it's got that waiting page? We were waiting half an hour for that announcement. They were half an hour late on the announcement. But everything that was announced that is new, I'm going to be covering in this video. I was a little bit underwhelmed. I was like, man, they're going to do McGregor. McGregor on the Ultimate Fighter. And I was really hoping for that. But it just didn't really happen, unfortunately. They didn't even announce the San Antonio main event either, to my knowledge. I think I might have missed that one. I don't even think they did announce anything. Whoa. So that's a little bit underwhelming. But... UFC 285, Jones vs. Garn, the first announcement that popped out to me was that Ian Gary is going to be on the prelims. There's no opponent for Ian Gary. All I know is that he's going to be on the prelims and Yellen Turner vs. Dan Hook is going to be on the main card and they have kind of moved it around and I think Bo Nickel was going to be pretty high up on the main card as well. So they're really trying to push Bo Nickel in that card. UFC 287, the main event has been officially announced. Israel Adesanya vs. Alex Bahia 2. Huge fight, huge rematch. I do think that Alex Bahia is going to beat Israel Adesanya again, but that does tell us that we're not going to see Alex Bahia fight Robert Whitaker anytime soon. Maybe we could, maybe halfway through the year, but we're also not going to see Alex Bahia fight um, Jamal Hill, which was also a potential matchup that Jamal Hill has been saying that he's interested in. Alex Bahia is obviously pretty interested in that too, but we're getting Izzy versus Bahia too. I think that's the smart call. I think that's the good one. That's a good main event. The co-main event is going to be Gilbert Burns versus Jorge Masvidal. A little bit of a weird one, to be honest, I will admit, but it is still a pretty big, big fight. You know what I mean? Gilbert Burns and Jorge Masvidal obviously seem to have some sort of disagreement between each other. So the co the the um oh dude, my brain's not working. The the press conference is going to be pretty fun. The next one is Raul Rosas versus Christian Rodriguez. They're really pushing Raul Rosas Jr. man in this one. He's going to be the featured fight on the main card. According to Dana White, the way that he was rattling off the, the event, um, I'm just thinking, dude, Raul Rosas on the main card, this guy's 18 years old, in front of a packed house, he's going to be expected to win, and Christian Rodriguez is not an easy guy that he's, that he's just going to be able to steamroll, you know what I mean? So I'm thinking, a little bit of a risky move, but if Raul Rosas Jr. wins this fight on the main card, he's going to be a superstar, it's going to be massive, massive for Raul Rosas and the UFC, which is cool, but... It's a tough fight though, Christian Rodriguez is not just a guy who's going to blow over. Another fight that was announced is Kevin Holland versus Santiago Ponzinibbio. Great fight, Kevin Holland obviously just went to war with uh, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, or it's more like Stephen Thompson just looked really good on the feet against Kevin Holland, but I think that's a winnable fight for Holland, I think it's also a winnable fight for Santiago Ponzinibbio. Uh, good to see that they're doing massive fights still with Holland and also with Ponzinibbio. Ponzinibbio, he's a little bit older now, he did have that time off, but he's looked really good on his return. I know he hasn't really been winning every fight, but he's been looking good. Split decision to Jeff Neal, split decision loss to um, to Mikhail Pajaya as well. So, Santiago Ponzinibbio still got it, and it's going to be a fun, fun fight, and I do expect it to stay on the feet. The next one is Rob Font versus Adrian Yanez. We already know about that one, but that's going to be opening up the main card, and uh, that should be a good one too. We did mention Joe Pfeiffer versus Gio Mishad as well, but that's already been announced. And there's going to be some some more fights added to the card. Obviously, there's only nine fights on the card uh, on Tapology, but if you take out the Sterling Tejudo fight and add in the two new ones, you're going to only have 11 fights, on, 10 fights on the card. My Matt, quick maths, guys, quick maths. <laughs> so we're going to see more fights announced for UFC 287, but what this tells you, man, is um, the Ultimate Fighter is not confirmed yet. It's still in the works, and it also tells us that maybe we're going to get Colby Covington versus Bilal Muhammad, considering that Gilbert Burns is fighting Jorge Masvidal. Maybe we see Bilal Muhammad versus Colby Covington. That could be a pretty big matchup. And then also, um, as I said, yeah, just the, the, the um, Ultimate Fighter is not confirmed. Also doesn't really tell us what they're going to do with Robert Whitaker. Maybe Robert Whitaker fights Jared Cannonier in a rematch. Jared Cannonier did say he was interested in that fight, but a lot of people, a lot of the fans aren't really too keen on that. So maybe Robert Whitaker fights, like, he either fights um, someone like Kamza Chimaev, maybe at 185, or he just doesn't fight and he just sits out and he waits for UFC 287 to take place, which is in April, so it's not really too far away, but it's still a long time for him to just wait. And for, so he's going to be sitting out for another six months before he can get a fight, so... I don't know what's going to go on there. Maybe we see Robert Whitaker fight someone in the meantime, but I think maybe he's just going to wait. But it is a little bit of a logjam for Robert Whitaker. In my opinion, though, if I was Whitaker and I really wanted to get a fight in, um, I think Jared Cannonier fight does make sense. I think it's a very winnable fight for Whitaker. He's already beaten Cannonier as well, and he did it somewhat easily. So, um, 
yeah, but he didn't announce anything new for UFC 286, didn't really announce anything new for 285 or 284, just kind of said that, um, you know, there are going to be big cards, this and that. But he did say Ian Gary's on the prelims of UFC 285. So that was new. It'll be interesting to see who he fights next. I will probably cover it on my channel when it does. So let me know what you think of all these announcements in the comments. And uh, hopefully on first, I'm definitely not going to be first. I'm going to be trying pretty fast to get this announcement out. So uh, yeah, uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of the announcement. And uh, as always, uh, please subscribe if you made it this far in the video. Please like the video and comment. All that sort of thing. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it.